Hello guys, good day to all. This is Mike Padua and we are back to our weekend edition of our update. This is for today, Sunday to Tuesday, September 14 to 16, 2025. This is our English version. Brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. And before we begin, we'd like to thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability. If you're interested, just click on the link here. And if you're watching via Facebook page, just click on the description down below and also the local government of Naga City headed by our Honorable Mayor Lenny de Robredo and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. So it looks like we have a very weak low pressure system 98W which has traversed uh, the Bicol region right now it has uh, moved past Naga City the system with no rain cloud whatsoever near or over the center or near the center most of these uh, rain clouds and rain bands are over the northern part of the circulation. That's why we are experiencing some very nice weather outside. Okay, and here's the uh, graph set that we created early morning. And uh, this is valid until uh, tomorrow, Monday. Here's the LPA. It's currently uh, right here, probably in the vicinity of Marinduque, moving towards the uh, west with most of its rain bands displaced north of the system and it's likely to bring thunderstorms across central Luzon, Metro Manila, southern Tagalog provinces. While here in Bicol region, expect the usual afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms. These are isolated to scattered. Okay, so no worries. It's just like an ordinary thunderstorm that passes. And uh, and so far, the uh, trough or the uh, extension of this LPA, which is um, very uh, insignificant, will be uh, useful thunderstorms in the afternoon across Visayas and Mimaropa and the areas that we've mentioned earlier, in Central and Southern Luzon. And it has a low chance of becoming a uh, tropical cyclone and it's likely to just move over the areas of uh, the West Philippine Sea within the next 24 to 48 hours and elsewhere across the western pacific it's all clear we have a uh, tropical wave here which is also insignificant there's nothing to worry about this will dissipate and now if we take a look at the uh, fast animation there you go the uh, rain bands of the lpa moving into the areas of uh, central luzon and here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com and it looks like the uh, convection of this lpa Oh, it's now moving past across uh, central Luzon. So expect uh, thunderstorms to occur over these uh, areas, including Metro Manila. While here over our area in the Bicol region, very good nice weather is expected. But again, in the afternoon or evening, we expect some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms. And also across the Visayas and Mindanao and uh, parts of Mimaropa and uh, Luzon. And here's the LPA from Cyclonic WX in West 98W. As you can see, the rain bands is uh, moving into central Luzon. And uh, there's no defined circulation here. If we take a look at the microwave imagery, as well as the 89 gigahertz, is mostly thunderstorms moving across the central plain of Luzon. And here's the uh, latest uh, rain forecast for today and it looks like this afternoon expect thunderstorms to uh, prevail in uh, various sections of the country with uh, diminishing uh, uh, convection over central Luzon as we move into the afternoon today okay and then by tomorrow afternoon we expect another round of thunderstorms across most parts of the country Tuesday as well and this is gonna be the same feature throughout the week until Friday, September 19. And if you want to know the weather situation on the day of the fluvial procession here in Naga City, that will be on Saturday, uh, September 20, there might be some cloudy conditions with chances of isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening, as you can see here on the uh, six-day forecast, although the forecast is expected to change as we move into the next uh, couple of days. As for the uh, rainfall accumulation for the next five days is uh, just the usual uh, thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening through Friday. Uh, these are uh, rainfall of less than 30 millimeters for the next uh, 
five days until uh, Friday, September 19. Now, if you take a look at the latest from the easterlywave.com, this is the uh, European model ensemble. You could see here too many uh, dots and lines generated by this uh, series of low pressure system. There's uh, another one here that is likely to become a tropical cyclone. Likely uh, by next weekend, there is a system that may form here and will track towards uh, northern Luzon. And uh, we're going to show you here the latest on that. But first, for the next five days, the wind forecast remains uh, quiet across the Philippines. Some light southerly to southwesterly winds will be expected beginning Wednesday next week until Friday. And then on Friday, we are looking at a new low pressure system east of uh, northern Luzon, uh, just along the uh, boundary of the Philippine Area Responsibility. So this is the uh, low pressure system that is likely to affect northern Luzon by uh, next next week okay because on saturday september 20 that system could develop into an active lpa or even a tropical depression and uh, remember this forecast is more than five days so the probability of this forecast remains low a high uncertainty so we still don't know if this will be the true track of the uh, future storm if we move this farther into September 22-23, it looks like the area of uh, northern uh, Luzon, particularly Cagayan uh, uh, region or Cagayan Valley region, will have a possible landfalling or passing uh, tropical uh, storm on September 24. But again, this forecast is highly uncertain, less than 30% probability or less than 20% probability. So it will still uh, change in the coming days. So we will keep an eye on this uh, system. So there you go. That's the uh, system that may uh, affect uh, extreme northern zone between September 23 to 25 based on the European model. We are not going to focus on the American model because forecast of more than five days is haywire and it's very very low in probability usually the european model or the ecmwf is much better when it comes to long range forecast so this is the scenario let's hope that it will still change uh, in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours and then as the system moves out on uh, september 26 we have another one here following the path of that system and it's uh, currently moving towards Batanes, Taiwan area, based on what we are seeing on this uh, European model uh, uh, forecast. So we'll wait and see on where this uh, tropical cyclone is uh, going to uh, uh, track. Okay, we will let you know by next uh, weekend. Okay, and for the wave forecast. Uh, uh, only uh, around uh, more than one meter of wave heights here for today over the East Philippine Sea, while the, the uh, central waters and the uh, West Philippine Sea will remain calm to uh, light waves of less than 0.5 meter. And if we move this slider into Friday, September 19, the wave heights will remain the same, less than 1 meter here over the East Philippine Sea, over the central waters will be calm to 0.3 meter, while of the west, over the West Philippine Sea, because of a slight uh, southwesterly moonsignal flow, we have a wave heights here of 1 to 1.5 meters. Still uh, suitable for fishing and sea travel, light to moderate waves over the West Philippine Sea, including Kalayan. So uh, it's not a problem for you uh, fishermen, okay? so. Uh, just take all necessary precautions when it comes to localized thunderstorms passing over your ship, okay? And for the uh, GFS uh, forecast on the Madden Julian Oscillation, this forecast was for September 13 to September 27. It looks like it will remain stationary within the vicinity of the Indian Ocean and the Western Hemisphere Africa area. But uh, there are some hints that during the last week of September, it might visit the maritime continent into the Western Pacific, but it's not yet clear. So we have a dry phase still uh, persisting until the next uh, 10 days, until September 22. And then after that, we might be having a uh, slight uh, wet phase. But again, this uh, variability is very low 
we still don't know. The uh, European model also says that the uh, wet phase remains here over the West Hemisphere Indian Ocean area. And uh, for the uh, Madden Julian Oscillation forecast from the Bureau of Meteorology of Australia for the next uh, one month, it looks like the uh, MJO wet phase will remain here over the Western Hemisphere, Africa and Indian Ocean. So until uh, October 12th, so it will be meandering over this uh, part of the globe. So just remember that the Philippine Islands is cu uh, currently here. So let's hope it will remain that way. And uh, for the uh, latest on the El Nino, La Nina, and so update, it looks like we will be ha ha heading into a uh, mm, very slight or slight La, La Nina. That's why we are now under La Nina watch. It looks like uh, in the next couple of months, between October to December 2025, next month, okay, until December, we'll be having a 71% chance of a La Nina forming. But uh, remember last year, uh, we thought that we have a slight La Nina, but it looks like we are just into the neutral phase. So last year, between October to February 2024 to 2025, the ENSO remains neutral based on the uh, latest from the uh, Climate Prediction Center uh, based on the post analysis. So let's hope that this will remain on a neutral uh, phase. But nevertheless, we expect uh, more rainfall to occur over our basin. So this is the uh, possible uh, La Nina between October, November, December. So watch out for that. And then uh, by... Uh, uh, January for very much it will move back into neutral condition but we will wait and see that's 71 uh, percent so right now we are still at the neutral phase and then September October November it will go up to 66 percent and October November December that will be uh, likely on November this coming November it will become 70 uh, percent so that's the latest from the Enso El Nino La Nina update so there you go, that's the latest. We will give you another update when we return this coming Tuesday or Wednesday. This is Mike Padua saying have a great week ahead. Stay safe always and thank you so much for watching our channel.